Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you a basic tutorial in Adobe Flash CS3 or Adobe Flash CS3 as you might call it, as many people call it. So let's get started. So this is my number one of the uh, video series, and we'll say it's just not number one. So the first video is this, and so I'll teach you the basics. These are the untitled that means that uh, this is your scene and all and so this is your workspace this whole area is your workspace you can see here this is the edit scene if you want to edit your scene if you're thinking what is scene in scenes can be inserted like this from here insert scene these are edit symbols if you have put in any symbols and yeah, if you might be thinking how can I adjust this this work, a working area you can drag it like this up and down that will automatically make it small or big so we can also show frame fit in window 25% 50, 100, 200, 400, 800 respectively so let's just fit in window this is this is your timeline so this is your timeline where you actually time your videos or where you actually time your animations and uh, if, and we'll just come to the toolbar here selection tool if you want to select sub selection tool just use a selection tool free transform tool that means if you have put in a circle And you can select it like this this is your lasso tool that means you can take any area of a shape and then take it out or copy or cut it anywhere this is your pen tool yeah, just, yeah, it lets you create lines like this the text tool the basic one hey there guys welcome to my video yeah so you can see that's the text bar this is the line you can also choose object drawing or snap to objects this is and actually where you see these little arrows on the bottom that means when you double click it it'll it'll show you many types of the uh, characters it has so on the shape tool we can see rectangle oval tool rectangle primitive oval primitive and polystar tool the pencil tool pretty simple pretty basic as the name suggests the brush tool you can choose how much thicker a thick or what type of shape will the brush have if you want to write calligraphy and all you can do this this is the ink bottle you can take this same color this is the paint bucket you can select colors from here i'll just come there in a bit this is the eyedropper tool that means if you have a picture and you want to make a picture or frame out of that picture you can select the color of the picture uh, by just keeping this eyedropper tool over that and you can see here it, the paint bucket has picked up that color what do you erase? simple you can also set the size of the eraser to big and small and all and then the hand tool the zoom tool you want to zoom this area let's go in zoom out zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in <laughs> so guys we are inside 2000 percent this fit in window that's basic so this is the stroke color that is your pencil color whatever color you like oh sorry i'm still in that position white just like this then you can select your color any color you like that's pretty simple basic I want to fill color you can do you can also choose this do, choose these colors from here in the toolbar now let's come to this toolbar what is this this is for the colors this is RGB red green blue the saturation of the colors are here you can see here swatches if you want to select any particular color in the grids type solid don't adjust this and 
the darkening of the colors you can select like this if you want to select any color you can select like this in this little palette you can also select from here or from here respectively for the pencil and bucket this is your library if you insert any pictures or clip arts the clip arts will come here and will be listed here and or here that is also pretty basic guys so this is your scene whenever you are uh, if you want to create a movie then you will have to uh, take out scenes and these are your layers so layers are also pretty basic let me just show you let's just delete this so every picture has layers and frames as you can see in movies also and in games also like 30 fps frames per second and all that means that the, uh, that in one second the picture is having 30 frames and all so this is layer one let's name it background and just show you back for short from and let's take a circle so you can see as in just like a layer of paper layers of paper stacked down to each other this is the same thing so the background comes at the back so like we want to select a rectangle we will just take, take, uh, take a color and then a circle let's take some other color let's say green yay so you can see it uh, it it is on that layer and if you want to uh, take these layers back and forth you can also do that so the circle is behind that bigger layer now it is above that so that is pretty simple guys thanks for watching my video guys do not forget to like share and subscribe also watch my minecraft videos if you like minecraft thanks for watching see you next time